Oh, many of you know me <laughs> as Taylor Dane, the singer, the girl with the big hair, big lips, and that big, ballsy voice. My voice, my greatest gift, my greatest salvation, my greatest tool. My voice saved my life. My voice gave me a life. It gave me a purpose. It showed me a way out of the chaos of my home. My voice gave me a reason to push through my pain and push through my fears. Oh, and there were many. My voice is my greatest gift in what I like to call my tool chest of life. What's yours? You see, because I believe the power of our greatness lies in the very seed of our being. In our DNA, I believe we are born with it. Every one of us born with our own unique seed, our own unique gift. Think back, if you can, to a moment in time you can remember ever being noticed, recognized, even admired for something you did. Something you did really well. Something you created or achieved that was very special. You shared it with others. That's a gift. Now, those of us who spent time with their gifts, we planted our seeds. We watered them. We nurtured them. We put them in the best light. And over time, these seeds sprouted. They rooted, they grew branches, and they blossomed. These roots are the foundation of our life's purpose. The blossoms bear the fruits of our dreams. So, was I born with a voice? Was I born with a gift? Or was it just my time? Both. A radio was the first gift that I can remember ever getting from my father. Some kids got baseballs, basketballs, dolls. I got a transistor radio. It had one music station, WABC New York. Oh, yeah. The music they played on that station moved me so much, I sang along. People liked it when I sang along. They said, you're good. And that felt good. So I got better. So much better, in fact, that by the time I was five years old and in kindergarten, they moved me up to the sixth grade choir and gave me the solo. I sang every day after that. Ask my parents. The music became the loving arms I so needed. The voices were my best friends. And the songs, a safe place for me to go. I planted my seed, and over time, my voice blossomed. As my life's purpose rooted, I was recognized, and success came. As I honed my skills, I sharpened my tool. A voice is a very powerful tool. So is a gift for numbers, a gift for languages, a gift for sharing ideas. Do you know that every single I've ever released has the word love or heart in the title? <laughs> mm-hmm. Tell it to my heart. Prove your love. I'll always love you. Every beat of my heart. Send me a lover. Love will lead you back. Can't get enough of your love, baby. I mean, here I am singing to the world about love and loss and breakups and makeups, and I've never even been married. <laughs> I mean, I've never even been engaged. Wow. What's wrong with this picture? Fear. What is love? Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. My father. My brothers. My lovers. Give me Russell Crowe in Gladiator. Powerful, strong, fighting for his family, his honor. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Or Mel Gibson in Braveheart, hounded, heroic, battling nations to avenge the death of his young murdered bride. 
or Brad Pitt in Legends of the Fall? <laughs> Beautiful. Tortured. And you can see why. Birds suddenly appear every time you are near just like me they long to be close to you and there it is right there in Burt Bacharach's song my why why I have so longed to be close to men my first love my father was a very tortured man, and not in a beautiful Brad Pitt way, <laughs> but in a very ugly, explosive, and violent way. Unable to control his anger and his rage, my father tore through our home daily, yelling, screaming, and hitting. His inner struggle to provide and protect for his family tortured him. My parents grew up very aware of struggle, they were first-generation children of Holocaust-surviving parents. So survival and struggle, they knew very well. But our home was not often filled with joy and laughter, but more often tears and fear. My father would rage, we would hide, and my mother was his perfect victim. So you're no good, because you're a heartbreaker. You're a liar, and you're a cheat. Where was my knight in shining armor? Where was my hero? Who is my gladiator? My father? He's too busy battling his own inner demons. But there were those late nights when he would come home. After his rage ran its course, he would quietly come up the stairs and come into my room and he'd kneel beside my bed and he'd weep. He would reach his hand out into the dark and touch my hair and pet it and say, I'm so, so sorry, honey. I'm so, so sorry. Do you know that? Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? You're so special. You're so special to me, honey. You know that. Do you know that? Do I know that? I know. Love hurts. Love scars. Love wounds. And love marks. But yes, I did know I was special. Because I had a gift. I had a seed. And by six years old, I knew. I would plant my seed, and I would survive. Because I'm young, I know a thing or two. But I learned it all from you, I learned it all from you. Love is like a flame, it burns you when it's through. Because love hurts. If my parents couldn't protect me, my voice would. I was just a little girl living in my lonely world when I heard that song. Little girl, hold on, my Sharia more. In the chaos of my home, found a voice to call my own, just a melody. It set my soul so free, gave hope back to me. Cause in the darkness of the night, 